guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today's video is going to be all about my June favorites. I have a bunch of makeup products to share with you guys, a couple of hair products, and then one skincare product as well. I've kind of rediscovered a few old favorites and then discovered a lot of new favorites. So I cannot wait to share them with you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have discovered any new like summertime essentials now that it is summer and the warm weather is here. I hope that your summer is off to a great start so far. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have been up to. I love hearing like your life updates at the end of the month and if you have anything fun planned for the next month and also don't forget to let me know about your favorites because I love hearing those as well so let's jump into it and we'll chat about my favorites okay let's talk about an old favorite this product always kind of makes it back into my favorites whenever summertime rolls around because I feel like it is a summertime essential for me so if you've been around my channel for a while I'm sure you've heard me mention it but if you are new to my channel I am a big fan of the it cosmetics your skin but better CC plus it has an SPF of 50, which is great, especially for the summertime if you're spending a lot of time outside. And right now I'm mixing the shade Fair with the shade Light. Most of the time I wear the shade Fair, but I do have a very slight tan from my summer vacation, which is quickly fading, so I'm sure I'll make it back into just wearing light. But for now, when I mix these, it kind of creates the perfect combination for me. So being someone with oily skin, this definitely doesn't sound like a product that I would enjoy or that I would recommend for oily skin, but there's something about it that just works. It is the only CC cream that I enjoy. I really don't like BB creams or CC creams because I definitely prefer more of a full coverage look, but this one gives you a lot of coverage, especially for a CC cream. So whenever I'm going for like a minimal makeup look or I just don't want to wear a full coverage foundation, I will always reach for this. It does a great job at evening out my skin tone, but making it look really healthy and glowy. It's definitely a hydrating product, so I do have to use a mattifying primer, which I'll talk about in a second, but it just kind of lets my skin breathe. It doesn't weigh it down, but it does still do a good job at evening out my skin tone. So I will reach for this more days than I'll reach for like a full coverage foundation during the summertime. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, I recommend it. I know people either love it or they hate it. It's not a typical product for people with oily skin, but if you're looking for something lightweight that just looks really nice on your skin for the summertime, it might be worth checking out. I cannot just wear it on its own because I do have oily skin and it will just completely slide off. So the powder that I've been using lately with this and also with my Urban Decay All Nighter is the Pure Cosmetic Cosmetics 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup and I wear the shade Light. I have been loving this so much. I've made a pretty good dent in this and I just got it at like the beginning of June but I've been using it so much. This one is probably the most full coverage powder foundation that I have tried. So if you have oily skin or you have acne scarring or you just want to really even out your skin tone with a powder foundation, this one is worth a shot. I will use it on its own with a dense brush to really buff the product into my skin and it completely evens out my skin tone Again, it's more of like a medium coverage, but you could always go in with a concealer for a little extra coverage. But I'll also use it to set my foundation. I really like using it with the It Cosmetics CC Plus because it gives you a pretty full coverage look when you use these two together. But it is so, like both of these products are very lightweight on the skin. So it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup and it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup. It really gives you just a nice, healthy, natural look to your skin. The other product that I use along with these, but also with my Urban Decay All Nighter is the Milk Makeup Blue are sick. Now, I'm a little bit late to the game when it comes to this product. I know the hype surrounding this product was really big a few months ago, but I finally decided to try it out. This product actually mattifies the skin so well. My skin has this natural sheen to it, which kind of, you know, it's fine if I'm not wearing makeup because it looks like I have like glowy skin, which is fine. But if I'm putting on foundation, I want to start with a mattified base because I know it's going to get oily throughout the day. This product is crazy because you can actually see the difference when you use it. If you were to only use it on half of your face, you would notice that one half of your face looks oily or shiny and the other half of your face instantly looks mattified. I would say the difference is that you don't have like this super dry mattified appearance. It's more of like a soft matte finish. So your foundation glides on beautifully. It does a great job at kind of blurring fine lines or imperfections. I struggle with a little bit of dryness and irritation on the sides of my nose and this product just kind of evens and smooths everything out. So I have been a huge fan of it. So I've actually been a big fan of this product for the past few months, but I keep forgetting to talk about it, so I thought I would go ahead and mention it today. It is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter, and I have this shade Radiant Lights. It's such a beautiful color. It's kind of unique because it's more of a pink toned highlighter, and I don't have a lot of pink toned highlighters in my collection. I have a lot of champagne highlighters, a lot of gold highlighters, but they all tend to be on the neutral side, and I feel like this one still kind of leans toward the neutral side a little bit, but it gives you a really beautiful, like subtle pink glow. 
it looks so pretty on the skin it's hard for me to even explain it I'll do a swatch and hopefully it does it justice because it looks so beautiful I want to wear it every single day and it complements so many different eye looks so I've been a big fan of this one I am huge a huge fan of baked products in general because I have oily skin and I feel like they tend to stay in place a little bit longer they do have a few different options available some like fun colors I just ordered a peachy toned one online so that should be coming in soon and I'll keep you guys posted but I do think they have like a purple and a green I could be wrong I'm not exactly sure but I don't usually like venture into crazy colors when it comes to highlighters but I think this pink one is kind of like on the borderline of like a crazier color and a safe color because it still looks pretty natural on the skin but if you guys have been wanting to try something different this might be a great option for you it's just it's a really high quality product it looks really beautiful so I definitely recommend it so one of my favorites is the Catrice Cosmetics Smoky Matte Powder Liner this one is a really cool unique product at least to me I had never heard of anything like this before but it is a matte black powder kajal with a thin foam tip so you apply it like a liquid liner but it's actually a dark black powder so I feel like it gives the eyes a really beautiful a smoky effect I'll actually use this when I'm going for more of a natural makeup look like sometimes I'll skip liner but if I still want lighter and more of like a diffused eye look I'll go for this one because it's not quite as harsh as liquid liner and it looks beautiful all over the eyes I'll just blend like a bronzer into the crease apply this apply mascara and I'm good to go I mean of course you can just take like a liner brush and eyeshadow and do that but there's something about this applicator that just makes it look like you tried harder than you know a brush with eyeshadow it gives your eyes a really beautiful smoky effect so I'm a big fan of this one I feel like it's easy to use and it's really unique it's different than like a harsh liquid line it's something a little bit more soft and subtle so I've been using it so often so I did just recently finish up a bunch of eye primers so I've been trying out a new one this one is the Smashbox photo finish lid primer in the shade light so they do have a light medium and dark and then they also have a white and a black so if you're going for like a really smoky eye the black would be perfect or if you want like a really bright colorful eye the white would be perfect as well and then the light one is great for lighter skin tones of course medium and deep so I'll do some swatches because I do have all of them so you guys can get an idea of what they look like but I really like this primer this primer is very velvety so it goes on the eyes beautifully and it helps my other shadows to blend on really nicely I have been struggling with a little bit of dryness on my left eye it seems like it's been going on all year at this point but some primers can kind of enhance that dryness and then my eyeshadow won't go on evenly this one glides over my eyes and my eyeshadows go on just seamlessly so I've really been a big fan of the grande lash and grande brow again so I started using these back in March and I filmed a video on them I think in April and I've been a big fan of them but I actually like did not use it at all in May and it's because we went on vacation and I forgot to bring it and then we left for a second vacation and I forgot it again so I really didn't use it throughout the month of May and I felt like my lashes kind of went back to what they were they do say if you stop using it your lashes will just kind of go back to normal so I definitely can attest to that I think you have to keep up with it and I don't know if you have to keep up with it every single night I forget what the instructions say but I felt like I wasted a whole entire month so I started using it again in June and I love it it makes my lashes just look thick and voluminous and long for me I mean they're not like the longest eyelashes in the world but they are a lot longer than my normal lashes are so I definitely think this product works I will say my brows didn't really go back to normal when I stopped using this I felt like my brows stayed in place they still looked thicker but my lashes definitely returned to normal that being said it didn't take as long for them to get long again so I felt like it just kind of took a few days even like a week or two of using it for my lashes to kind of return to that longer thicker state so I am not going to quit using this I feel like it is a good investment because it's better than false lashes I'm just sick of false lashes I haven't really worn them since I want to say like March or April and I my eyes are so happy they're less irritated my eyelashes are longer and I save so much time in the morning so I definitely recommend them I think they really work they're just they're good products they're not gimmicky at all and they are a little bit pricey but I think in the long run they're worth it okay I have a few hair products and then one skincare product so I've been using the same shampoo and conditioner throughout the month of May and June and I'm out of them I have to reorder them because they have become my favorite they have just worked wonders for my hair you guys might know I mean maybe you don't know maybe you don't watch all my videos because who has time to do that but I've been talking about how I want hair care products that are like silicone free pair 
paraben free, cruelty free, and all of that stuff. So these are all of those, and I think they're sulfate free. So these are the Nutra Reparative Shampoo and Conditioner with Desert Date. They are meant for dry, damaged, and brittle hair. I used up the shampoo and I'm almost done with the conditioner, but they are so good. First of all, they smell amazing because they have this Desert Date in them, which is obviously supposed to help the health of your hair, but it adds like this really nice, just subtle, pleasant scent to them. But they do a great job at cleansing my hair without stripping it. So it's not dry at all. We were at the beach, we were in the pool, I was in the sun like all throughout the month of May and my hair looked so good. That never happens because usually like the sun and the salt and the chlorine will completely strip my hair and make it so dry and brittle. But I used these products and it made a huge difference. They are so good. They do a great job at keeping my hair shiny and healthy and just thick and voluminous and I love them. I think that I found like my essential hair care products so I'm absolutely going to repurchase them I need to go online and do it tonight actually because I'm almost done with the conditioner as well but I had to throw them in this video you guys because if you've been looking for a good like paraben free cruelty free I think they're silicone free just hair product that's a little bit better for you try these out you will not regret it they are so so good the only downside is that you get such a small amount of shampoo I use so much shampoo so I had to use it very sparingly I think Hopefully I didn't wash my hair every single day during May and June or else I would have been out of this in like a few days but I tried to use it sparingly because they are a little bit on the expensive side but I do feel like they're worth it I'm I'm getting to the point where I'm like willing to invest a little bit more in hair care products if they do work really well for my hair and I feel like these two are worth the money the other product that I've been loving is from the brand IGK I just talked about this in a haul video but I had filmed that video like 10 days before so I have been using it for a little while this one is their Beach Club texture spray it is the best texture spray that I've personally tried I try a few here and there but honestly I haven't found one that really like works wonders for my hair until this one it works so well it works when I straighten my hair when I leave it natural or when I curl it to add a lot of volume what I've been doing is just like blow drying my hair and straightening the roots and then kind of spraying this in the rest of my hair for a messy beachy look and it makes my hair so thick I actually wore like a ponytail the other day which I never do anymore because my ponytail look so thin and pathetic but this one actually made my ponytail look really thick and voluminous so I love it the great part is that it actually lasts into the next day I put my hair in a messy bun the next day and my messy bun was huge because my hair was like so thick and voluminous so it really is a good product I would say if you're looking for something to add like a lot of volume and texture to your hair definitely try this one out it's so good I also like it because it doesn't make my hair feel dry a lot of texture sprays will make my hair feel brittle and just like it's going to break off and like so dry and chalky this one does not make your hair feel like that so I definitely recommend it it is such a good product I want to try more products from this brand because I was so impressed by it and the last product I want to talk about is from Tarte Cosmetics it's just a little deluxe size sample of their friction stick I actually had two of these and I was surprised because they actually are still like both there's still product in them they last for a really long time I don't use it every day I probably use it like twice a week but it's such a good exfoliator it's actually Actually a exfoliating cleanser so you can use it as a cleanser I usually go in and remove my makeup and then whoops and then go in with this if my skin is feeling clogged or I just feel like I really need to exfoliate it it's gentle on the skin so it doesn't feel really rough or harsh but it still does a good job at like unclogging pores and just kind of smoothing your entire face what surprised me about this is you really only need a small amount you just take the stick and kind of rub it on your face and I usually do like my cheeks a little on my nose and then maybe my forehead and my chin and then you go in with your fingers and massage it and it kind of like spreads the product out so I've been a big fan of it I like it because it is a gentle exfoliator it's not anything too harsh so I feel like I can use it I mean I don't know what the instructions say because I just have the sample size I wouldn't say you can use it daily I would say you can use it a few times a week but it does not sting it doesn't burn it doesn't irritate my skin at all it feels really gentle and it does a good job at just kind of unclogging my pores so I have been a big fan of it I'm definitely going to purchase the full size once I'm finished with my two little like sample sizes okay guys that is the end of my June favorites I think this video was a little bit long but I had so many favorites I wanted to talk to you guys about sometimes during the month when I'm like building my favorites list I feel like I should do one like every single week just because there are so many products that I try and I love so I just love filming these videos and kind of giving you guys an update on all of the products that I tried throughout the month I do have a video coming on products that did not work for me so stay tuned for that one but in the meantime thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.